Do you remember? Do you remember? I'm expressing with my own capabilities And now I'm living in correctional facilities Cause some don't agree with how I do this I get straight meditate like a Buddhist yeah, so I went to Target and I, you know, uh, was picking up diapers. Thank you for the super chats, everyone. I appreciate it. And while I was there getting diapers, I picked up some Star Wars toys to uh, review. Uh, and this, you know, normally I look at toys, at the Star Wars toys that are available, and I laugh. And, you know, I, I, I have to buy them because they're so awful, and I can I know I can make good roast videos. Uh, this was a sincere purchase. I, I looked at the this box set. Uh, available only at Target. I mean, this could have saved Toys R Us. The, you know, stuff like this could have saved Toys R Us. Uh, and I look at this box set and I said, oh my God, like, look. I mean, these are all characters that we know and we love and I, th this looks real. I, what the hell is, what is this? Get off, get, get out of here. Ah, ah. Yeah, um, look, look at Luke Skywalker when he's, young and he still has a hope and faith in people and he's got that great green lightsaber uh he hasn't let his hand rot away i mean he's wearing a black glove underneath it you know george lucas uh it was revealed in a book about uh the making of the return of the jedi that came out a couple years ago george lucas revealed that he had this plan at the end of return of the jedi when uh darth vader uh removes his mask or when luke removes darth vader's mask for him uh and dies Luke was going to put the mask on. Now, that is mind-blowing. Uh, the idea of Luke Skywalker putting on Darth Vader's mask at the end of that movie, at the end of that trilogy, and just saying, you know, I, I'm Darth Vader now. I think he, it was some cheesy line of dialogue that I'm sure somebody else would have punched up for poor George Lucas, but that blows my mind that that could have happened. And even if that did happen, and I'm glad it didn't happen, even if it did happen, the original trilogy would still be more meaningful, heads and shoulders above any, any of this new stuff that Disney is making. Uh, these characters look real to me. Uh, the, the stuff that I've been, you know, buying and reviewing lately for laughs, it's like cosplay. It's stupid, it's silly, and it, it you know, uh, it makes me feel dirty inside, <laughs> like, you know, handling those toys. This is actually, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, uh, the Force Link 2.0, or this is, is this the Force Link 1.0? It's not going to work on them either. It's not going to work. So uh, you might as well just not buy it, or if you do have it, throw it away. Um, but anyway, yeah, I actually felt good about buying this. And I, I do wish that it was available uh, other places than Target, but Target was where I was. So let's open this up and have a look at this toy. I don't want to rip this. Look how great that looks. I mean, that's actually a really, really good piece of work. It's a painting. Um, look at the Emperor up there. Yeah, you have to buy it. Like, if you see this and you're a Star Wars fan, you almost have to buy it. Uh, I did have, uh, one qualm. Who should I take out first? Uh, oh, look at the Emperor. He's, oh, all right, we'll take the Emperor out first. Uh, I never, I think the Emperor in the original Kenner line, if I remember correctly, was like a send-away figure. Uh, he was kind of hard to get, and I did have one. I never liked it very much. I didn't think it was a good resemblance. Uh, this is fantastic. Let me tell you something. Um, the texture on this robe, if you could see, look at look at how they textured it. You feel it, and it's it's kind of rough. It feels like sandpaper. Beautiful, nice sculpt. That face is a dead-on ringer for Palpatine. Um, yeah, I like this. Like you can peel back his robes here. I'm not going to peel them back. Erotic. I have respect for this character. Uh, so it won't. This will not be a sensual toy review, uh, like what I did with Snoke. Um, but look, underneath you can see his leg. Oh, his foot is actually, like, you can't peel this away. His foot is actually molded in um, to this row. But it's nice to be able to see it. Look, he's goose-stepping. Is this goose-stepping? I think so. Uh, yeah, other side, same thing. Uh, this is a beautiful figure. Uh, he comes with a stick. Uh, that's uh, a mainstay of Hasbro toys. They all kind of come with sticks. So let's put this stick in his hand, like so. Yeah, he looks good. You look good with that stick. Uh, also, it looks like he's got some trade-out hands. So if you want to have him summoning Force Lightning and electrocuting uh, Darth Vader, well, Luke Skywalker and, and Darth Vader, you could do that. Let me see if we can pull one of these hands off. 
Does this work? Yeah, it works pretty easily. I mean, these toys are small. I don't, I don't really like to mess around with them. Okay, so there we go. He's got lightning coming out. I mean, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So, uh, I, I gotta say, uh, oh, the hood. Ew, the hood comes back. And you could see, can you see his head? It looks like he's got hair, but it's the color of his skin. Um, beautiful. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is it. This is what we want. Hasbro, Star Wars, this, Disney. This is it, right here. More more of this. All right, so this is this is great. We're gonna leave him here. Notice how respectful this review is. Hasbro, Disney, Lucasfilm. I I would do this every day, every day if you could just find this magic and retrieve it. Here's this beautiful green lightsaber and bring it back to us. I mean, I know it's it might it might be too late. I think it is too late. Uh, yeah, the Luke Skywalker figure uh, in the box. I wasn't thrilled with him. You could see, look, see this the missing paint. I don't know on the side of his hair there. God, that bugs me. That bugs me so much. It looks so bad. Uh, you know the way he looks on the back of the box. Uh, he doesn't look like that when you pull him out. That that looks great. I, I want this figure. Uh, this doesn't look like that it doesn't look like that at all really um, so I'm not I'm not thrilled even though I'm thrilled with the uh, you know Luke figure I like the choice of figure I like what he's wearing I think this is my favorite incarnation of Luke Skywalker because uh, he was just so cool I mean he was just he looked confident uh, you know he had mastered the force I mean as much as he was gonna as much as he had mastered it uh, up till that point, he was a formidable adversary, still a little naive uh, as he tried to uh, talk sense into his father. Look at that. Man, it's a great looking toy here. I'm happy to add. Uh, this this belongs this belongs in my collection. I, I, again, I, I'm not happy with the paint job. Thank you, Hasbro. Thank you. And then we have a, an Imperial Guard. I, I had a, I actually did have a few of these as a kid in the original in the original Kenner line. Um, for some reason, these were really easy to get. Uh, you know, I guess they assumed that, you know, we would want as many of these as we wanted Stormtroopers. Uh, I always felt two was enough, but I think I had like four of them, and I don't even know why I had four of them. Uh, look at his hand. It's point That's a really, really neat sculpt, and, uh, you know, it makes the way he holds this um, pointer stick here. What is this? I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's a weapon. Um, but it makes the way he's holding it look kind of neat. Where's his other hand? All right, it's in there, and then he can hold it. I guess he can hold the staff uh, regularly, the way that you, I think, would assume he would hold this thing. Looks a little weird coming out the other side. Um, underneath his cape. Uh, oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I wonder how they where they get the uh, uh, information about what they wear under their robes. I mean, you know, uh, I I am happy to investigate that. Uh, when it oh oh, shh. he he doesn't he doesn't have he has no face. This could be Ant Man, by the way. He has no face. Uh, all right, he just I see. That was interesting. I didn't expect that. Uh, yeah. So uh, good, another pretty good figure. Happy, to, really happy with this set. Uh, this might be the first like sincere. Um, toy review that I've given. There's going to be another sincere toy review because uh, I did buy another uh, Hasbro set. I'm gonna, you know, I, I do one or two toy reviews a day. We'll get to the another sincere one. Uh, this, um, yes, please. This, this, it looks great. It doesn't look silly um, like the the '90s line where Luke Skywalker is buff and pumped up. Uh, they got this idea that you know they would make these Star Wars figures more exciting if they made them more muscular and uh, more aggressive looking. No, I really just want models uh, as a, you know as a toy collector, which it looks like I've become. You should see my desk. Um, I, I just want models of the actual you know characters from the film uh, as close to perfect. As, I mean, the likenesses are, are are vital. The likenesses need to be there. This is great. Uh, this looks terrific, and Luke Skywalker looks pretty good. I, Luke Skywalker is the weakest of the uh, of this box. That's too bad, uh, but I'm still quite happy with him. And uh, this is this is all we want. Um, 
yeah, boy, it just it, it makes you uh, nostalgic for a time when Star Wars was uh, not infested by uh, SJW parasites uh, bent on uh, <laughs> bent on making it for women who couldn't care less uh, about Star Wars. Uh, but still, we, we do have our memories, and uh, thank you Hasbro for this box set. Yeah, actually, do go out and get this. I can't remember how much it costs, but it, this is uh, this is worth the price. So we want to encourage more of this, and uh, uh, you know, less of this. Thanks. And what would I do without the support of my Patreon backers, subscribers, and the people who offer me super chats during my live streams? You guys are the lifeblood of this channel. We couldn't do daily content of this quality, this frequency, without you guys. So a big shout out to all of you. These are your names scrolling up the uh, up the screen here. Now, if you would like to join this community, you can do so by pledging a dollar or more at my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you.